Jackson here, and I'm happy to be here today with a special guest. Hello, everyone. My name is William Howard Taft. Yes, sir. So today we're here with story time with Nixon and Taft. And this time we're going to tell you a story from 1940, actually. I was 26 years old. Uh, Taft was 82 years old. All right, so it's a little bit of a backstory. I'm sure you guys saw my last story time with Nixon where Taft ate my favorite yo-yo. Uh, basically, I needed to get another job to buy another yo-yo. You know, I was very distraught that my yo-yo was gone. My family was distraught. My whole life was just going downhill, so I had to make money to buy another one. It was delicious. Ah, darn it, Taft. How can you do this to me? Still love you, though. I love you, too. Thanks, brother. Alright, so I had to pick up a job working at the Cheesecake Factory for two cents an hour. And this is where our story begins. It was one night in 1940, and... Taft and I were serving a bunch of families, and we were serving cheesecakes all night, obviously. So, Taft, do you want to pick up with the story? Because I know that pretty funny events occurred thanks to you. Oh, yes, I remember that night. Me and Nixon were serving the tables. All the customers were there. And every time I served the table, I ate their cheesecake. I probably ate about a hundred. You do realize those are paying customers, right? You're eating their food? It should be mine too. Oh, okay. I, I guess all things cheesecake belong to you. Exactly. And so, after eating a hundred cheesecakes, which were supposed to go to the customers, the manager came and he yelled at me. I remember I was sitting there on the other side, I was just laughing at him. <laughs> and I remember saying specifically, kick yourself in the butt now. <laughs> God damn it, Nixon. Hey, sometimes you're really, really funny, so I can't help but laugh. That's not nice. I love you though. Love you too, man. And so, after Nixon laughed at me, the manager told me to go into the back of the kitchen and start making new cheesecakes. But, as I walked into the kitchen, all I saw was cheesecake. Cheesecake everywhere! And so I went on a mindless cheesecake rampage and ate everything, even the oven! My god, man, how on earth could someone eat an oven? I mean, you are the man that ate a piano not even, not too long ago, like, what, two weeks ago? How? I, I don't even understand. I understand when you ate the piano, you were just trying to prove to us all that you have a good taste in music. <laughs> but how on earth can a man eat a flaming hot oven? Easily. I mean, I saw you do it, so I mean, I guess it must be pretty easy. Yes, it was. My god, man, that was just crazy, a crazy sight to see. And so, after I ate the oven, the manager came in and saw me with the oven in my stomach and threatened to sue me. But, before he did, he decided to try cooking the cheesecake inside of me. So all the workers came in and started shoving cheesecakes down my throat to try to make them go into the oven. And as the cheesecake cooked in my stomach, every 20 minutes you would hear a ding and the cheesecake would slide out of the oven down my whale-sized colon through my intestines, and finally out my butt. I will admit, when I saw them, they looked quite delicious. Yes, they were. <laughs> <laughs> but I remember, a worker went out to go serve them to the nice families who had not had cheesecake. Due to you eating them, they actually told us that they were the best cheesecakes that they had ever had. One of the things I remember most fondly 
was a six-year-old girl whose face lit up when she looked at the dreamy chocolate cheesecake that was placed in front of her. She thought it was heaven. She told me specifically that she was going to come back tomorrow to eat more cheesecake. She thought it was the best cheesecake she had ever had. She even licked the plate clean. <laughs> even 76 years later, Tap, I believe you still work there, right? Yes, and nobody knows that the cheesecake still come out of my mouth. Yeah, that's. I only worked there for a year until I could afford the yo-yo, but I know that they still do the same thing. Because that's what Taft says. And that's the secret of the Cheesecake Factory. Don't forget that next time you go there. Welcome to reality. Yes, I do agree with that. Reality is a pretty tough place to be. But hey, at least a bunch of families left happy on that night in 1940. And what they don't know won't hurt them. Besides, they're probably dead by now. <laughs> Why are we laughing about death? Because cheesecake. Anyways, so, I hope you all enjoyed the story today. I certainly did. I enjoy recounting this memory. Except the image of Taft with an oven inside of him. I don't like visualizing that. But other than that, it's a great story. So, the days of Watergate are in the past. Be sure to subscribe. And Taft, you may say goodbye. If you don't subscribe, I will eat you. Bye-bye now. Alright, thank you, Mr. President. Goodbye.